Welcome to ECU Master Training Part 8. In this video, we're going to take a look at setting up our cam and crank patterns and sensors within our EMU Black software. We're also going to be taking a look at using the oscilloscope function so we can check what our patterns look like to see if they're going to be set up properly. We're going to have a lot of things to cover, so let's jump into this video so we can get started. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our cam and crank trigger setup within our EMU Black software. This is going to be probably the most important thing that we actually have to configure and set up within our software without having the proper cam and crank registration as the engine is rotating. We won't know things like our engine RPM. We won't know when to fire our coils, when to fire our injectors. So it's going to be, in my opinion, probably the most important thing that has to be right. Without that information, nothing else will actually function and run at all. So before we jump into the tutorial here, talking about setting up our cam and crank sensor inputs, we need to make sure you have the correct page layout open here within the software. Um, I have the main setup uh, template page layout here open. So if you go here to desktops, we go into open desktops template and we move down in here. The main setup is the one I have chose here. So this option right here. So that's what you want to open up on your uh, laptop and follow along for this tutorial. So we covered in the last video taking a look at our main configuration and setup this was all our background details looking at engine displacement the actual uh, fueling type we're working with looking at the injector size and uh, defining our rev limiter it's defining when we actually want to fire the coils fire the injectors setting up our coiled well setting up all our injector data information so all that would have been taken care of so the next thing in line would be our actual trigger configuration so we're going to move here from our setup window and we're going to move here into trigger now, if you're running a plug and play base map from ECU Master and you go and uh, upload it to your EMU Black, chances are all of this is going to be taken care of for you already. If you're going to be doing a custom setup, maybe you're going to have a race application where um, you don't have a plug and play base map for it, you're going to have to do this yourself. Now, it's always good to understand what is going on with these parameters. If you have any problems, you can jump in here and start to troubleshoot using some of the cam and crank sensor information. So this is going to be an excellent video that you can refer back to if you're going to be using EMU Black on many different applications. There's going to be a lot of good information in this video. So what we find on the screen right now, we have our live information open here in the left. So we can see we have our basic uh, sensor information. We have our ignition information. Now the reason why I have this pulled up specifically, if we look at when our window here, we're going to find we have some things related to our cam sync and our cam signal. We also have things related to our trigger status and our trigger errors. So these are going to be things that we need to keep track of. That's going to be part of telling us if we have our cam and crank sensor input uh, set up here, configure it properly. If it's not, it'll give us errors here and things won't run right and we're going to know that pretty much right away. And we also have our three main windows here. These are going to be our parameters that we actually have to program. So we have our primary trigger, which is our crank sensor. We have our secondary trigger, that's our cam sensor. And then we have our cam input number two. So our crank trigger here is used to establish engine RPM, engine position, things like our coils and injectors can fire based on the minimum knowing this information. The cam input here, our secondary trigger, that's going to establish sequential style fuel injection and sequential style ignition. So we know when to fire our coils and injectors based on our engine position. So it's going to track where the number one cylinder position is going to be. That's super important for sequential style injection. And then this is also used, the cam sensor is going to be also used for variable cam control on a variable intake cam only. So something like a Honda K-Series engine, it uses just our secondary trigger. Now if we're talking about working with say an Evo 10, where it has a variable cam on both the intake and the exhaust, that's where our cam input number two is going to come into play here. This is going to be tracking that exhaust cam position as it's related to our crankshaft position so that we can control the cam movement in that MyVec variable cam style control. So we're going to go over these windows here and talk about them. We also find that we have these two-dimensional tables here. These are voltage thresholds that we'll talk about related to our cam sensor inputs for VR or mag style sensors. And then down here we have our uh, graphing window. So we can take a look at graphing some things and playing it back here. And then we can jump in and take a look at what that data is going to be showing us in our windows here. So we're able to look at a whole bunch of information very quickly within the window. So now that we've kind of went over the layout here and what we're looking at on the screen, let's jump in here to ignition primary trigger and talk about all the parameters and defining everything here for our crank sensor input. So the very first thing under primary trigger, we're going to find we have our sensor type. The sensor type is going to be establishing what kind of sensor. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.